Okay. So I will start again. So I will just start. And this is n. And first I will define a block. I will call it draw a rectangle. So draw a rectangle is here. And then I place it in the center. How can we define a variable? How, can, how did we use a variable? First, we need a variable, a name. So I will make a variable. Let's say this one is, let's say, P1. Actually, I just call it uh, P1x. And I, may, I need another variable, which is P1y. So I have two variables. The first, what is the then f the next process? What is the next step to use P1? What is the next? So we define a name for a variable. What is the next step? We need to set a value for that. So there's a function which is set P1. Uh, so I will set p1x and p1y which both I set as zeros and then probably I simply uh, use that so I kind of uh, I, will go, I will use go to x and y instead of x is now become p1x and y become p1y so if I just run it this is now zero. I just set it as 100 and 100. Actually, it'll move it. Uh, probably I need to use pen. So I just pen down and pen up. That's it. So I just move it here. If I click it, this will draw a line, which is go to P1x and P1y. That's it. So this is how we used variables and actually the list is the same process we first need to define a variable so I will make a list let's say this one is list of x point and I make one more which is list of y point and what is the next step you see that this one list of x point and list of y points so there are many numbers will be contained in this list. So what is the next step? We need add numbers in a list. So to do that, there's a function called add thing to list of x point. Let's say I will change this one to x point but unfortunately this one only add one number into the list how can we add multiple numbers to this list using we finished variable but my question is how can we add multiple values into a list there's a function, but this one only add one number to the list. How can we? Repeat. Exactly, yes. So I'm going to use repeat. Let's say that we are going to add four numbers inside. <clears throat> So this one I called it, I also use block, I would say prepare a list. And prepare a list, repeatedly add numbers inside the list. And actually I need one other variable, because I, so I want to uh, change the value. 
So I called it data, make a variable, I called it index, and I will set the first value 0, and I change the value by 1, and I will add index to a list. And then I need to, of course, call this one. So I will prepare a list. I'll locate the prepare list function in front of the draw a rectangle function. So let's see what this code will do. If I click it, do you see that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 is added to a list. I will repeat one more time for our Y. So in data, so I will use uh, add things to function to Y list. And then probably I make another variable. I called it uh, index for Y. And I set the first value and I change the value actually uh, change index for y actually minus 1 and I will add index for y here what happened then if I run it you see that this one x has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, index y is 4, 3, 2, 1. Because it starts at 4, and this one decreases by 1. So x has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. On the other hand, y has 4, 3, 2, 1. Is it clear? Just so, far, so far, it's okay, right? But the kind of problem is that we just only run once, but it has 12 lists inside, and there's a something, num some numbers that we don't want to use. The, what happened here is that Scratch, remember all the variables generated while you're working. So every time we run, we need to delete, or we need to clean the list. So after, so, after using the list, we need to clean the list. So I kind of make another function, which is clean list. And then I place clean list after using it. How to clean that? If you go to data, there is a delete function. So this one will delete the first item in a list. But actually, I want to delete everything. So I will use OR of list Y. I will delete OR of list X. So what will happen is, it will create, it will add values in a list. And then it will, it will clean it, but it will kind of do it so fast. So let's, if you run it, you, just, you may not recognize it. So in the control, I'll use wait maybe three seconds and then delete it. So if I run it, it creates four numbers inside the list. After three seconds, it will delete it. And actually, you may kind of, this one, this process, so overall algorithm, what is the overall algorithm? Prepare a, prepare a list, use the list, and delete the list. The, not so difficult. Because we, if you don't delete it, then actually it will accumulate all the kind of values created. Actually, this was the same thing in Grasshopper and Rhino too. Rhino, remember all the values in a list or in a variable until you close Rhino. So you may want to clean it every time you run it. And how can we use the list? Let's, it, let's go back to now draw a rectangle. So instead of variable, I want to use the first 
I terminal list. So instead of go to X, what I'm going to use is instead of P1X, I will use item number one of list X point. And for the Y, can you see it? Mm. And then for the second one, I don't need it anymore. For the Y position, I want to use item first of list of Y. So this is how to use a list. So you got the idea? But we have to repeat it other four corner. So I'll use go to, I will copy it, duplicate it, and put it next, and duplicate it, put it next, put it next. And I will simply change the index. I'll actually, I'll just simply type two here, and I type three here, I type four. So I will use first of list x, second of list x, third of list x, and fourth of list x. And here the same thing, I just use second, third, and this one, fourth. <clears throat> when you use list and repetition, it is always it makes use try to use always table so here our list x what are the four values in the list 0 1 2 3 what are the index of these numbers so this one is actually index is 0 1 2 3 what are the value of list y? It's a 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is the, oh, actually the index in the scratch starts from 1. <coughs> 1, 2, <coughs> 3, 4. <coughs> so what is the coordinate? 0, 4. Zero, four. 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, comma, 1. So how does the scratch will draw in x, y? The first one, 0, 4, 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, and 3, 1. So do you understand the result? So today's assignment is probably draw so something window like drawing. So this one is you may want to use draw rectangle, use the one function for different sets of list. Actually this one can be used to draw draw rectangle. Well how can you do that? This one has four coordinates, this one has three coordinates, but your data structure of rectangle has four coordinates. How can you draw triangle using four coordinates? Wouldn't you just go back to the original? That's one way. What does that mean by? That's, what do you mean? So we have four coordinates, let's say P1, P2, P3, P4. How can you draw using these four points to draw triangle? P1 and P4 would be equal. Yes, exactly. So probably P4 and P3 is the actual identical yeah. one. So you got that? So now we are watching or we see geometry 
not from drawing, we understand it from coordinate, which is we see it through parameters. Actually, this is the most important kind of perspective changes when you work with programming and grasshopper. So I want you to exercise to create a list and how to use a list. So repeat the thing you draw it for the last week without using a list. I want you to repeat again using a list and make yourself comfortable. Think with a list or lists or parameter-oriented perspective. I hope you to have parameter-oriented perception when you deal with geometry. Any question? Okay, I will stop it. And if you have any